Okay, good morning. Today is Friday, the fourth day of ER, and we continue in chapter 44 in Tanya. We explained in this, uh, this chapter that the Rebbe talks about the way we can serve Hashem, not just doing dry mitzvahs, and, uh, but to do it with feelings, with emotions, with love, with fear of Hashem. So the Alter Rebbe was discussing the different types, the different levels of love, the different levels of fear. There is the, what is called the Ahava Rabba, the higher level of love of Hashem, which is a gift that comes from above. As the great tzaddikim have the love, have a betanugim, the love in the light of God, in God. There is the level of ahavat olam, the level of love that we achieve by contemplating the greatness of Hashem, studying and, and thinking about the whole world, every detail in the world, how the great Hashem is, and that leads us to love. And yesterday we discussed yesterday and the day before, we discussed about two levels of love that we can have that has both the, the it's, uh, it, it is both advantages that comes from above and it's something that we work on. And this is the hidden love, the natural love that we have as an inheritance from our ancestors. We have the love and we said that there is one, the one level is called nafshi ivesicha, which means my soul, I desire you. Meaning we're, talk, we're saying to Hashem, God, you are my soul, you are my life. Therefore, I desire you. And this is, as we said, this is loving God like loving life itself. And then he went to the next level, which is kebra the ishtad al like a child who will do everything to save his father. If God forbid a parent is taken away in captivity, the child will do everything to get the father back. He will risk his life. He will give up his life to save the father's life. And this is the higher level of love, we said, is meaning that loving God more than life itself, that a person is ready to give up his life. And of course, it says the Alter Rebbe, and we concluded yesterday, that although this type of love is something that it's not, how do we achieve this level? So the Alter Rebbe said that we have to talk about it. Do and talk and think and and this is what we says when you talk about it with your mouth then this is why we explained why when it comes to studying Torah, when it comes to pray you're using the voice you talk about it you pray with sounding the voice not just reading it because this awakens, this arouses the thoughts, the, con the concentration. And this leads the person to really get the feeling of the levels of love that we said. Now, in today's shir, in today's lesson, the Alter Rebbe goes on to explain that although it seems that it's not real, it seems like it's an imagination. It's, it's, it's like a, you're imagining that you love Hashem in that level. And we know that it's so important when you serve Hashem, it has to, has to be real. You can't lie to yourself. You can't fool yourself in thinking that you're reaching up very high levels while you know you're in a very low place. Says the Alter Rebbe, that what we spoke about, what you need to think about and need to speak about it and you need to contemplate on this concept that Hashem is our God and so on, like our Father. 
even though you know that you're not going to really feel it, don't worry about it. Keep doing it. Hashem will do the rest. Meaning that when it comes to this level of, of, of feeling of love to Hashem, there is two things over here. There is the feeling that you need to have the feeling of love. There is the love that your neshama has, and that is there. Because hidden, in, in a hidden way, we all have it. It's there. The other part is to actually work, to act on it. So to act on it is to do the Torah mitzvahs. Just like when you're in a relationship, when you want to act, you want to make sure that there is a good relationship, you have to do the little acts. You do the, you do, you, you do the work, you do the little things that it helps that the other person wants. Take out the garbage. You do the little things that make brings love. So here we're doing the little things, the mitzvahs. So we have the mitzvahs and we have the love. The only thing that is missing is the connection because you don't really feel the love. The connection, this Hashem will do. Let's see inside. We'll understand it a little better. It says the Alter Rebbe. Even if it appears to him at first sight that this is an illusion, he doesn't really feel the love to Hashem. Says the Alter Rebbe, he needs he need not be concerned. Because this is really intrinsically. An absolute truth. By virtue of the hidden love. So hidden, there is the love hidden in every Jew. However, But the benefit derived from its emergence to the open is, the, is that he should translate it into action. So that's the benefit of bringing out this love into the open, is that you act, act on it. What is the act? This means being occupied with studying the Torah and doing the mitzvahs, that which is studied and performed as a result of this, as a result of revealing this love. And why does he do it? In order with intention to cause gratification to God. Like a son serving his father. That he enjoys bringing pleasure to the father. So the same thing. We have the hidden love. And we act on it to do nachas ruach to Hashem by doing the Torah and the mitzvahs. But what about the connection? We do the mitzvahs, but we don't really feel the love. And we are, of course, we know that when you feel love to something, you're going to act differently. You're going to do it differently. When you love someone, you're going to do what you do for the person in a different way with more vitality. Says the Alter Rebbe, Val ze omru machashova toivo akadesh boruchu metzafo lemaise. And concerning this, it, it, is, it was said that a good thought is joined by the Holy One, blessed be to a deed. Now this, this sentence that comes from the Gemara, machashova toivo, a good thought Hashem joins into the deed. What does that mean? The simple understanding of this word is that machshava teva, when if a person, let's say, wants to do a mitzvah, let's say you wanted to give tzedakah to someone to, to help him out, they wanted to give him a sandwich, and you come over and he just, he told you, oh, I just had breakfast, I don't need it anymore. So that machashava, he had a good thought, is considered like you already done, you did the mitzvah. That's a simple understanding of this 
sentence, Machshava Teva, Akadesh Baruch Hametzah Falamai. So a good thought, Hashem joins us into action. But the wording that Hashem joins it into action is rather strange. I should say um, that Hashem considers it as if it is done. Joins it into action suggests something more. And this is what the Alter Rebbe explains here. Joins it into action means that there is the thought that you want to do something. There is the action, but there is no connection. As we said earlier, that in order for the mitzvah to have vitality, to fly up, to reach up to the higher levels, it has to have emotions. It has to have wings. The Ava and the Yira, the love and the fear of Hashem are the wings that make the mitzvah soar up high. And here it doesn't happen because you're, you don't really get the feeling. So the al don't worry. You do what you need. Since inside the heart you have the love and you actually do the mitzvah and you're thinking about by doing the mitzvah, you're using your mind to think that you're doing it because of Hashem. So even though you don't feel it, Hashem does the rest and Hashem connects the feeling, the thoughts, with the, which is the feeling, to the action that you do. This is what the Alter Rebbe says. So let's continue inside. It says the Alter Rebbe. Well, they amru again. And regarding this, our sages have said that a good thought is joined by the Holy One, blessed be He to the action, that they're providing it with wings to soar upward as explained earlier in chapter 16. Now, says the Alter Rebbe, the gratification that he provides to God is Kimshal Simchas HaMelech Mibnoi Shebo Eilov this is by way of the illustration used earlier that to the joy of a king whose son returns to him after liberation from captivity. That when a person is in, the, is in captivity of his body and with all these challenges, the, the animal soul that keeps the person, the nesham in captivity, and when a person shakes up and he wakes up and he does the right thing and it comes out and it does the Torah mitzvahs. It brings tremendous joy to Hashem. Just like a king enjoys that his son coming, coming to him from prison and the king embraces that, that child. This is one way of bringing joy to the king. Or, or God's gratification may be from the fact that it has been made possible for him to have an habitation among mortals. To have a home down here below in this world, as mentioned earlier. So this is the level, what we said, to bring up the, uh, the love of Hashem like a child who tries to do everything for his father. Now the Alter Rebbe continues and says, Vehine, as you remember, we learned, we learned two levels of love to Hashem, that we have the love, loving God like life itself. And why? Because Hashem, realizing that Hashem is our life, and then we have loving God more than life itself. Like a child gives everything to Hashem. So here the Alter Rebbe goes on to say, first he said that this level of loving God more than life itself, this the Alter Rebbe explained, is easy to achieve. Why? Again, because you're doing it for Hashem. And even though you don't feel it, Hashem will make it and connect it. Then the Alter Rebbe goes on to say that even the other level of loving God, like life itself, because considering that God is your life, this also may be achieved. And the question is, 
which one is more is a higher level loving god like life itself or loving god more than life itself obviously loving god more than life itself is a higher level like you have to love god more than you love yourself and yet the alter rebbe first explains loving god more than life itself he says this is easy to achieve and then he says you know what you know what else even the first level is also easy to achieve loving god like life itself is also easy to achieve and that doesn't make sense this is a question the rebbe is asking really to love god like life itself is a lower level that should be easier to achieve than loving god more than life itself and the rebbe explains Rebbe says, in a way, that loving God like life itself is more is harder to achieve. Why? Because if you're talking about something spiritual, sometimes you can put yourself in a spiritual state of mind. You want to connect to Hashem. You realize that you're nothing. You realize that the main thing is God. So a person can forget about himself for a minute and connect to something which is higher. But to love God like life itself means to bring down this understanding into your own life and to appreciate that your life is God. That, in a way, is, a, is even harder to achieve. And that's why the Alter Rebbe goes on to say that even this level is also achievable. So let's look at continue inside. Says the Alter Rebbe Vehine. Even in regards to the above mentioned love of the category of my soul, I desire you. You realize that Hashem is your soul and you desire Hashem. It is readily possible to bring it out of its concealment into the open. How? Through constant practice with mouth and heart in full accord. So when you talk about it again, same idea that we said before, that when you talk about it and you think about it, at how Hashem is our life, and this, of course, takes a lot of understanding and studying the Hasidus. The more you study, the more you have what to think about. About the greatness of Hashem and so on. So the more you do it, then you become, it becomes second nature. However, says the Alter Rebbe, what if you cannot do it? What if you try and still you cannot uh, reach this level of understanding and feeling? However, even if you cannot bring it up into revealed state in his heart, nevertheless, you can still occupy himself in doing toy studying Torah and do mitzvahs for its own sake. By, and by contemplating, portraying the idea of this love in his mind. Yes, you cannot feel this love, but one thing you can do is to think about it. To have it in, the, in your mind that this is the idea, this is the real thing. Even though you don't feel it. But you have it in your mind, that itself creates that connection. And a good thought, just like we said earlier, that a good thought, Hashem, joins it into action. Same thing here. The good thought, even though you don't really feel it, you don't really sense it, nevertheless, Hashem joins it into action. So this is the end of today's shear. Thank you so much for joining. Of course, what we take away from here is action is important, most important. It is important to contemplate and to try 
to understand, to achieve the level of love and fear of Hashem, whether loving God because God is our life, or loving God like a child wants to completely give himself over to Hashem, to his father, to his mother, to save them. And doing this, we'll be able to achieve our mission in this world to connect to Hashem and connect the whole world to Hashem. Thank you very much. A good Shabbos. And join us on Sunday morning again, 9 o'clock. And any questions, we can ask now.